Meanwhile, U.S. lawmakers have taken notice of those ongoing campus protests. Rebecca Castor has more on a new bill headed to the House floor this week. A free Palestine banner now hangs from Hamilton Hall on Columbia University's campus after student protesters took over the academic building Monday night. <laughs> it's the latest escalation as students at universities across the country continue to defy campus rules. And Washington is taking note. Smashing windows with hammers and taking over university buildings is not free speech. It is lawlessness. They're a bunch of little uh, babies that don't understand the reality of the world around them. This is out of control. We've got to, we've got to protect the, the, the innocent uh, uh, students there. House Speaker Mike Johnson plans to bring an anti-Semitism awareness bill to the House floor this week, which could redefine what's classified as hate speech. It could also pave the way for protesters to face criminal charges and allow lawmakers to cut federal funding to universities that don't control anti-Semitic behavior. If they're not doing their job, everything should be at risk. Their whole enrollment base. Do you think parents are going to send their, their children to these schools that are seeing total, total uh, anarchy? The White House condemned the protesters' violent rhetoric, something the Secretary of Education reiterated Tuesday afternoon on Capitol Hill. I think what's happening on our campuses is abhorrent. Uh, hate has no place on our, on our campuses. Yet some lawmakers think those are empty words. The Biden administration is utterly failing the American people right now and failing the Jewish community across this nation. And I ask you to do more. Columbia officials now say students who broke into Hamilton Hall could face expulsion from the university. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox 32 Chicago.